Hello everyone. Nice to see you again in our video tutorial. Our topic for today covers in the subject, Empowerment Technology, entitled, The Current State of ICT. I am Teacher William. Let us explore our topic for today. The Current State of ICT the modern world of information and communication technology is ever-changing. The Internet has been a vital tool to our modern lives that is why it is important to make the best of the Internet. The online world then took on a more recognizable form in 1990, when computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. While it's often confused with the Internet itself, the web is actually just the most common means of accessing data online in the form of websites and hyperlinks. As a better understanding of computing methods are being incorporated into hardware that is used in developing more efficient software, the new trends in ICT are becoming more and more empowered. That's the focus of our topic here, the ICT-relevant concepts and technologies that affect our daily lives. The Internet's total evolution up until now can be divided into the following generations which is known as the current state of ICT. We have number 1, Web 1.0, number 2, Web 2.0 and 3, the Web 3.0. Let us explore the meaning and their difference of the three current state of ICT. The Web 1.0 the Web 1.0 is a term coined to differentiate the first stage of the World Wide Web in comparison with the present stage of the Internet technology. At the beginning of the WWW, there were few web content creators and many of them were so-called, read-only web, since there was no user interaction. At this stage, the web pages were static, meaning you can read and look at the photos but user could not interact with it to obtain more information. The feedback mechanism was through private email and direct comment was not available. And so that's why the Web 1.0 is also known as the static web. Next we have the Web 2.0. The Web 2.0 is also known as dynamic web or read and write web. The term Web 2.0 was first used in 2004 to differentiate the current Internet technology with the past technology, the Web 1.0. This was the beginning of the wide use and popularity of social media such as Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. The users can now interact, contribute and create their own internet space and content resulting in the explosion of information available for everyone on the net. The internet is now available to everyone whether you are an expert or not. The internet is now a means to interact and communicate with the people in a virtual community, allowing social connection around the globe. It is now easy to share your photos, videos, stories and your opinions over the web. That is the Web 2.0. Lastly we have the Web 3.0. The Web 3.0 is also known as the semantic web or data-driven web. Web 3.0 is the third generation of internet services for websites and applications that will focus on using a machine-based understanding of data to provide a data-driven and semantic web. The ultimate goal of Web 3.0 is to create more intelligent, connected and open websites. In Web 3.0, all available information is based on real-time events. Users can now stay connected to the live Internet at all times. Web 3.0 allows for a platform that lets digital devices suggest probable actions based on your previous decisions. Web 3.0 is also known as the executable phrase of the Internet. We experience the features of Web 3.0 Internet every day. For instance, consider the live stream feature of Facebook and YouTube. YouTube's video suggestion works on the same principle. Is Web 1.0 obsolete? I repeat, is Web 1.0 obsolete? The answer is, not necessarily. Because there are some websites that sell specialized products that do not have Web 2.0 capabilities and may not have any business need to interact with the users. In short, Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0 are simply nomenclature to describe a current state of technology being employed on the Internet differentiating from one another. In the next video, 
we are going to study the key features of Web 2.0. And that concludes our lesson for today. Once again, I am Teacher William. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Good day.